What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So the BMW E92 series continues. In this video we're going to be doing the rotors. Since the car did tend to shake a lot, especially when we're braking. So we figured the rotors were warped and that's exactly what it was. Alright guys, so here are the rotors. We went with the drilled slotted rotors. It's going to look more sporty. Just looks nicer overall. Um, but before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe. We want to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, and it's going to really mean a lot for the channel. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do to this car, so uh, stick around. Go ahead and subscribe. Just, just take your finger, just subscribe. I'm not asking for a donation or money, just, just to subscribe. All right, let's stop wasting time because I'm freezing. Not your typical California day. It's been cold, but let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I went ahead and removed the lug nuts, so the wheel's coming off. Um, we are selling these, that's why I have like a different wheel on the back. So if any of you guys want to pick these up, you can, but by the time you see the video, they're probably gonna be gone already. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start moving the rotor. As you can see, these are painted, the calipers. We're gonna go ahead and paint those in another video. This video, we're just gonna take care of the rotors. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the time lapse. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we finished installing the rotors. Here's one rotor. I hit it with brake cleaner because these do come greasy from the factory. So, Mikel was doing the other side while I was doing this side. He's already got the caliper on, the brakes, everything. So I won't be replacing the brake pads because they're new, they have a ton of meat on them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting everything back, get the wheels back on, and we're gonna go uh, take it for a test drive and see if it solved the problem. Oh, that's nice. Did you record that? Did yeah. you get that? <laughs> yeah. That's not, oh, okay. It's an uh, E90. Nice. All right, guys. So we're testing the brakes. I'm uphill. Mikkel's got money that I'm about to stall and hit this lady because I'm rolling back if I, if I leg, <laughs> off the, leg off the brakes. But I should be cool. I've been driving this car for a while, so. Like for a while, I mean like the base. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. You yeah, got it. There you go. I'm going forward. See? Here's your right in the up. clutch. <laughs> That was the only way, riding the clutch. No, 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 the no, only no, way. Do you guys hear the pops? Do you guys hear the pops or no? Mama? I don't think so. Alright, so we're testing the brakes. They already feel really smooth. No shaking of the steering wheel. Um, I noticed it the most at high speeds, which is why we're entering the freeway right now. Alright. Quick rev max. I'm not even joking. Yeah, like, it used to be horrible. Literally. So that was it, you guys. The rotors were the cause of this freaking mess. 
we first we honestly thought it was the tires because we did notice the the ones in the front were bigger than the ones in the rear um so we thought that was the issue but no it wasn't um there was 225s in the front and that's not too bad for the front honestly and there was like 215s in the back um so that wasn't the issue this was the issue but yeah it feels so much nicer even riding it too like it feels like it takes off smoother i feel like with the old rotors like it was too tight or something i don't know like they were just rubbing on each other like uh, the pads with the rotor all right guys thank you guys so much for watching this video um please stay tuned please stay tuned for the rest of what we have for this car um, obviously it doesn't look too hot yet i mean we're getting to the boring stuff first which is the mechanical stuff um we haven't posted in a while um, you guys will find out in the next video uh, so stay tuned for that video we're also going to be painting an rsx um so stay tuned for a nice paint job um but other than that thank you guys so much for watching um like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys next time